Hi everyone, what's up? Well, today's video, been a while since I last uploaded a new video of my old LSS, 1998, supercharged 3.8 liter. So today we're going to go get gas because I have low fuel. And that's what it says, low fuel. Okay. So, today's video, I uh, thought I'd tell you what's happening with the car since my last video that I'd taken. The first, the last time I recorded this video uh, on this car was the time where I found the mouse nest inside my engine pay. So, it's been running good ever since. Now, I brought it to my mechanic because I noticed that my uh, fuel tank was leaking if I put more than three quarters of gas in my car and what he told me wasn't great news i will have to get a new car next year it's very unfortunate i'm really pissed off about it because i love this car uh the real big issue about this car the frame on the bottom is so rusted from all the rust which i really don't understand why this was what could be happening because i drive my car in the summer and never in the winter. I always store the car in the winter. It's always garage kept, except for the first two years that I've owned it. And yeah, he says that he won't be able to lift up the, the car anymore and that's how rusted it is. So unfortunately, yeah, it, it's such a shame. I don't know what I'm gonna be getting. Um, I'm thinking personal wise, uh, for me, I need a more practical car and that would be some uh, like a pickup truck either a Ford Ranger or an S10. An S10 I'm probably going to get the V6 because uh, four cylinders for me I don't really like too much even though it is gas efficient. I like something with a little bit more power. So yeah, it's such a shame. Uh, and I love this car. I had it, I put about 10,000 kilometers since I owned it. It had 134,000. <sighs> well, I guess uh, change is good I guess but you know, when you get attached to a car and it's so fun to drive and you have so much amenities, it's really good. Oh, I gotta go really slow here. Okay. So the gas today, I have to put 91 octane because this is a high compression engine and it uses that amount of octane. I have, there's 94, but 94 I'm not going to be putting in. Too expensive. Okay, so, okay, so 87 octane. These are in liters, so times that by four and you get per gallon. So $1.30.4 for 87, 89 is $1.37, 91, which I'm going to be paying is $1.39, and 94 is $1.45 per liter. So, it's much more expensive than the US, but in the UK it's almost double than that, so I guess we're lucky there. Alright, so let me go put some gas, I'm probably going to put about 25 bucks in there, and then we'll start her up and then we'll give you the supercharger wine. Okay, so I have about 25 liters, no, $25 worth of 91 octane, and that's about a half from almost empty to a half so that's not too too bad and the car does get pretty good gas mileage even for a 3.8 liter okay so I'm gonna guess going to go around the highway so that way you can hear the supercharger whine because I don't want to go back to where I came because there was cops and I don't want to speed when there's a cop around okay so All right, I tell you, having a loose tripod really does suck. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to film this by hand. So 25 bucks gave me about a half a tank, which isn't too bad. All right, so I don't think I'll get the supercharger one for you. That's pretty quick. 
which I love about this car. And the motor is perfect on it, it's just the frame. So I'm not sure what actually car that I'm looking to get, either a Grand Prix GTP, uh, Impala SS, the 2004-2005 with the same motor, uh, Buick Park Avenue Ultra, or an S10. Uh, either a 4x4 two-door model or the um, crew cab. I think I'll probably go for the crew cab better or any pickup because <laughs> I think it'll be much more practical for my lawn business than just a simple car. But they're probably not going to go more than 2004, 2005 because insurance is going to be pretty high. Actually, I'll go straight. Uh, I'll turn this way. I do appreciate a smooth ride. very glary, so I do apologize for that. Oh well, I didn't really get you that much of a supercharger on, but it is what it is. Ugh. Like a bad time for video. Okay. Here's that Mazda. It's got so much issues. That van. Now, the problem is with that van, it's got a alternator problem. We went to the flea market and it died four times on us. Should have taken this car. Yeah, the ride's pretty sweet. Such a shame though that it has less than 90,000 kilometers and it's got a rotten frame. Oh yeah, well story of my life. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.